Hi, I'm Pastor Eddie Lee Cuff, and this is my beautiful wife, Tina Cuff, founder and pastor of Jubilee International Ministries. We welcome you this morning on this wonderful day, the resurrected Sunday that Christ rose from the dead. Come in and enjoy this wonderful message that God has given me on this morning. From this day forward, most of my message will be on YouTube. I've got this direct order from the Lord to put all of my message on YouTube. So this is the first day that you'll be able to go on YouTube and hear the message of every Sunday of Julie International Ministry from me, myself, Pastor Eddie Lee Cuff. Come in and enjoy the service with us today. God bless you. St. John 10.10 10. Good morning. We know that today is Good Friday. I mean, I'm, 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 my apology. Easter. <laughs> the resurrected Sunday when Christ rose from the dead. And John 10.10 10 says, The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. And I want to share something with you. I, the Lord gave me a dream or a vision or whatever it might be, but I know he revealed something to me. And what he revealed to me, it, it let me see the, the authenticity of his death and resurrection and why John 3.16 says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and I had he gave he showed me this, this vision and I saw the whole earth in a big open field I saw every nation every creed every color of people Small and great families and businesses enjoying themselves. Some of them was on the park having um, family outings, barbecuing, and, and, and some was at the stadium playing football, and some was at the stadium in baseball games, and, and, and some was having family reunions, and some was clubbing, some was doing their own thing in there as I gazed upon what the Lord was showing me and all of a sudden I saw everybody in their recreational time. And the earth was real busy before me and in this vision and all of a sudden it stopped. And then Jesus said to me, said, Eddie, because of what I did on Calvary, they're enjoying themselves. Even those that count me out, that say I'm not the son of God, they are benefiting from the seed that I sowed in the earth on Calvary when I went and I died on the cross. Those who say I'm not the son of God, I was just another prophet. The atheists who say that they don't believe in me. And every nation, those that hate me, who won't come to the light, who are doing their own thing, they are enjoying life. The righteous and the unrighteous. Yes. Those who love darkness and those who love the light. The world is benefiting off of my death, my burial, and my resurrection. Amen. And I stood there in that vision and I said, whoa. And I began to look at what God was revealing to me. And he said, and I want you to tell him that if it wasn't for me, none of this. They couldn't enjoy their family outings. They couldn't enjoy their night clubbing. They couldn't enjoy their family reunions and all the other things they love to do to keep me out. He said, well, I paid the price for them to enjoy all of this. And yet, they turned their back on me. Oh, hallelujah. And I looked at his vision and then I woke up and I sat up on the side of the bed and, and I just began to contemplate over these things. 
how good God is. Yes, yes, yes. And he said the thief, and he, he came and he was getting revealed to me that if he hadn't came in the appointed time that he came because Satan had this world mm -hmm. in his grips. Yeah. We know when he came, multitudes was demon possessed. Mm -hmm. Satan was doing what he wanted to do, how he wanted to do it, whenever he wanted to do it, and how he wanted to do it. But Jesus came and put a stop to it. Amen. Amen. When he came, he came out testing our demons. He came undoing what Satan had did. And, and, and we're going to talk today because there's a, lot, there, there's a long conversation, and I thank God, for the book of John out of all the gospels yeah. John tell more of the conversations and the things that went on that Jesus talked about and revealed before he went to Calvary Amen. I thank God for the book of John Amen. you know and he said over here in John 10, 10 but the thief come up to steal to kill and to destroy but he said with he came that we might have life. And that we might have life more abundantly. And um, let's go over here to, I want to go on down to John. And he, and he said here, and I am the good shepherd. And the shepherd give his life for his sheep. You notice he said for his sheep. And what he showed me in that, in that dream, that vision, everybody ain't his sheep. Right, yeah. amen. So those who are not his sheep are reaping the har harvest and enjoying the benefits of Jesus' death, burying the resurrection. They're enjoying the inheritance of the saints. Mm -hmm. And yet they turn their nose up at Jesus and they don't realize if it wasn't for him. This earth will be ripped all apart Amen. by the thief who come to steal, Amen. by the thief who come to kill, Amen. by the thief who come to destroy. Yes. Yeah. But you know what he said? I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd give his life for his sheep. And I thank God that I'm, I'm, I'm one of them sheep who recognize him. You know, and, and, and let's go over here to John. Um, let, we, let's stay right there. I'm going to go down to 14. Drop down to 14 verse. I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and I am known of them. I am the good shepherd, and, and I know my sheep, and I am known of them. Now listen to that. He said, I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and they know me. Do you know Jesus today? Or do you just know of Jesus? Do you know that he came and he, he died, but do you know why he died? Do you know why he died? You know, and I, I'm going to go over to John 12, 20, and I want to, we're going to, I want to show you the conversation Jesus had hours before he went to Calvary. And I'm talking about within the, within the 24 hours. Mm -hmm. John wrote and told this whole, and see, Matthew don't tell it all. Mark don't tell it all. Luke don't tell it all. But John tells the conversation that happened. And it's relevant that we understand these conversations before that final hour before he went to <coughs> Calvary. Let's go down here to, to, to 12 and 20. And it says, and there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. Now you got to understand now, Jesus, this was Jesus' sign. And I guess the father had told Jesus, when these three Greeks come, want to meet you, then you know that the 
ours not. Because if you look at the writing of this, when Philip came and told, when the Greeks came to Philip and Philip went to Andrew and Andrew went to Jesus, Jesus began letting his sheep know something that was about to take place. And he would begin, he began to lay out a mandate because he knew that maybe less than 24 hours he was going to be on Calvary. Mm -hmm. The place called the place of the skull hanging on that cross to die for you and I. Mm -hmm. and, 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 let's go on, and let's go back to here. It says, and there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. And the same came therefore to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we would see Jesus. Mm -hmm. Philip cometh and he tell Andrew, and Andrew again, and Philip, Andrew and Philip went to tell Jesus. And Jesus answered them. They went and told Jesus, there's three Greeks that want to meet you. Jesus didn't say bring them in, but Jesus was getting to tell his sheep something. And he would get to say, the hour was come. You see that? Yeah. He said, when he heard that, he said, the hour has come. What hour? That hour that Jeremiah right. talked about. Mm -hmm. That hour that Isaiah talked about, that he was abused for our iniquities and, 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 and the chastisement of our punishments was upon him and by his stripes were, were we healed and he, he was bruised for us. 700 years before this happened, Jeremiah talked about this hour. Mm -hmm. Isaiah talked about this hour. Jeremiah all of the prophets prophesied of this hour. And so this hour had arrived. And, 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 and look what Jesus says. He says, And the hour has come that the Son of Man shall be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat falls into the ground and die, it abide alone. But if it die, it brings forth much fruit. You see that? It bring forth much fruit. So Jesus said, if I die, mm. many more just like me will be resurrected. Mm. Yeah. That's what he's saying. Yeah. If I die, the Bible says, as Jesus is in this world, so are we. Right. See, he, he looked down the corridors of time and he, if I don't die, Eddie won't be able to start Jubilee International Ministries. Mm -hmm. If I don't die, he won't be at that pulpit on this day giving this message. Amen. If I don't die, Sink won't be there, EJ won't be there, Jane won't be there, Gary, all of you wouldn't be here. He said, unless a seed fall in the ground, it cannot bring forth fruit. We are his fruit. Amen. He was that seed that was buried in the earth. Mm. A seed bring forth fruit. Listen to me. What do a seed do? 